Constitution and Functions of Pharmacy Council of India, PCI. The Central Council that is Pharmacy Council of India PCI was constituted by central government for the first time in 1949. It is reconstituted after every five years. Constitution of PCI 1. Elected Members 2. Nominated Members 3. Ex Officio Members 1. Elected Members 1. Six members elected by UGC out of which there shall be at least one teacher of each of the subjects including pharmacy, pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmacognosy and pharmacology, elected from among the teaching staff of colleges or universities conducting the diploma or degree program in pharmacy. Two. One member elected by members of Medical Council of India, elected from among themselves. 3. One member from each state or union territory elected by the pharmacy councils of respective states or union territories. 2. Nominated members. 1. One member nominated by each of the state government or government of the union territory who shall be a registered pharmacist. 2. Six members nominated by the central government out of which at least four should be possessing degree or diploma in pharmacy and should be practicing pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry. 3. One representative each of University Grants Commission, UGC, and All India Council of Technical Education, AICTE, nominated by the members of UGC and AICTE. 3. Ex officio members 1. Director General of the Health Services 2. Director of Central Drugs Laboratory, CDL, 3. Drug Controller of India. Functions of PCI 1. To prescribe minimum standard of education required for qualification as a pharmacist or to work in pharmacy profession. This can be provided by making rules as education regulations which prescribe minimum qualification for admission, duration of the course, details of syllabus, practical training, examination, minimum facilities required to conduct of course. Practical training and exams. Two, to regulate the minimum standards of education. For this purpose, PCI appoints inspector who carry out inspection of each institute and provide detailed report whether institute conducting the pharmacy course is providing the necessary facilities or not. Thus, it should be recognized or not. Three. To recognize the qualifications granted outside the territories to which Pharmacy Act 1948 extends for the purpose of qualifying for the purpose of registration under the Act. 4. To compile and maintain the central register of the pharmacists containing names of all persons for the time being entered in the state register. 5. Any other function that may be assigned to the Central Council in the furtherance of the objectives of the Pharmacy Act 1948.